This is News 4 at 5. News for your health tonight. Could a treatment for brittle bones actually be causing them to break? Doreen Gensler is here now to tell us more about this. Doreen. Hi, Jim. This one is pretty hard to understand. You might have heard of the drug Fosamax. Nearly 40 million prescriptions have been written for this popular drug for osteoporosis. It's part of a group of drugs called the bisphosphonates, and they're supposed to make bones stronger. But now some doctors say there's mounting evidence that these medications could actually cause spontaneous breaks and fractures. Okay, I was on my way to work, walking up the hill to catch the bus, and I heard a snap. And I didn't realize that it was my leg until I fell. Sheridan Powell says she didn't trip on anything. She didn't have an accident. Her leg just broke. It snapped like a twig. You don't just break your leg. You usually fall and break it. I said, I, I felt I must have tripped over something, but there was nothing there. Powell was taken to the hospital where doctors found she had a rare type of femur fracture. X-rays showed that there was a clean break in the middle of her thigh bone. Doctors were left wondering what could have caused the largest bone in her body to suddenly snap in two. We think of the middle of the thigh bone as being a very strong bone. It's not a bone that typically an osteoporotic patient would fracture and in these patients they fracture with almost no trauma. National Rehabilitation Hospital rheumatologist Dr. Robert Bunning says he's seen this before and once he learned Powell had been taking the popular drug Fosamax for about eight years to treat osteoporosis he says he had a pretty good idea what could have caused the break. The drugs are supposed to work by shutting down the cells that resorb bone, the osteoclast. The ones that make bone, the osteoblasts, are supposed to keep working. However, in biopsies of the patients that have had the fracture, they've shown that both are shut down. Bunning calls it frozen bone, which is brittle and more susceptible to these types of clean fractures. He says in the U.S. there have been 50 to 60 reported cases of this. You know, even though it's rare, I think we're going to be seeing quite a few more cases. Dr. Bunning says that in all of the reported cases, most patients had been taking Fosamax or another type of bisphosphonate for more than five years. The drugs clearly were designed to make the bones stronger and I think they do for the first few years. They make them denser. The manufacturer of Fosamax, Merck, says there has been no causal link demonstrated between long-term use of Fosamax and fractures. Clinical studies have not shown any increased risk of fracture in any part of the body. A spokeswoman for the Food and Drug Administration says they are aware of this issue and are actively investigating it. Dr. Bunning agrees that Fosamax is safe to take for up to five years and it's been shown to benefit many patients with osteoporosis. But for patients like Sheridan Powell, who had to undergo surgery plus weeks of rehabilitation just to be able to walk again, she says she wishes she had known about the risks. It's kind of hard to believe that something that saves your bones can break the largest bone in your body. A big question is whether the osteoporosis itself might cause these fractures, but Dr. Robert Bunning told us that patients with osteoporosis typically suffer breaks in the hip area and that that usually happens after a fall with all of these patients. The breaks are occurring right in the middle of the thigh bone without any sort of trauma. Jim and Wendy, it appears that the problem comes in if patients take the Fosamax or one of the other bisphosphonates for more than five years. So if people have questions, they should talk to their doctor about it. Uh, it's alarming. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Doreen. Sure.